I think it's coming at the uh, the perfect time. Give us a chance to kind of go back to the drawing boards. Uh, you know, give some guys some rest, let the bodies kind of heal up, but you know, just get back to a little more fundamentally uh, sound football. Physically, what kind of told you the last four weeks to take on this team? Uh, it probably is taking a, a good toll, seeing that some of the competition we played being, you know, in conference and. Uh, you know, I think in this league, you know, it's definitely going to be physical uh, week in and week out. So I definitely think the bye week is coming at a good time. Do you think Tennessee's a tired team? A tired team? Tired. Uh, no, sir. No, sir, I, I, I don't. I think we're just going through a little rough patch that we got to just kind of find our way out of. After, after that win, you guys had three, three losses and mm-hmm. losses. Where do you think this team is mentally? Mentally, uh, you know, I feel that we're still mentally tough, but we're also, uh, you know, hurting a little bit from these losses. And, you know, I think that the work that we put in, we just feel that, uh, you know, we we, we deserve more and it it hurts. It hurts more when you work hard at it and, uh, you you know, you're really giving what you can to, to, to go out there and get a win. Did you see some benefits from having a physical week of practice? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we got back to, you know, running the ball, um, being physical, moving some guys off the line, and, you know, blocking on the perimeter in front, the backs getting downhill. So I definitely saw, you know, some improvement. Tony, I mean, it seems like the past couple of weeks y'all have gotten into the, either, you know, right there in the red zone or the gray area, you know, four, five, six times and gotten into field goals or, or no points at all. What's what's changing when y'all get around that 30, 35 yard line? Uh, honestly, not sure. Can't put my finger on it. I just know we gotta we gotta start converting. These last two games are uh, very very important, and uh, the pressure's on. You had eight yards last week, 124 this week. What was the difference in you? Um. I, I, I think we just got back to running the ball, got back into the style of football that we're used to, um, and you know just believing and trusting in them guys up front, and uh, I, I think that's 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 really all that it was this week, man. Just believing in them guys and, and giving those guys a, a a chance to to move some piles and 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 you know let the bats get downhill and work a little bit. How do you think Dobbs handled his second start? I feel Dobbs does pretty well. You know, he's assertive, smart guy, knows the ins and outs of the defense and our offense. And I feel he'll just keep growing as time goes on. What would happen when you you change with you and Coach Gillespie? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm I'm still asking questions about that. He won't tell me because he told me I need to focus on the game, but I'm not sure. But uh, I will find out. Take a couple more. That's the first time you've heard a coach. Yeah, 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 I'm a bruiser. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you, Rachel. All right, appreciate y'all. That's the last play. Thanks, Rachel.